You know how there are times in your life when things seem to be going great? And then suddenly, out of nowhere, you round the corner and bam, someone steps in and f***s it f up. And you never saw it coming because you were too busy being happy. And I know, that's life. F happens. You should be a bigger man and just let it go. Well, I'm a woman, so f*** that. <laughs>
But remember, one day you go to bed with this, the next day you wake up with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sir. Why is she crying? Why are you here? We had an appointment. At one? No, at 11, and it's noon, so I'm an hour late. I told her 11, so she'd be here at noon. You said that f***ing Gary, and she's always an hour f***ing late because she doesn't give a about anyone but herself. Thank you, and I didn't say that. Did I wake you? Sorry, I figured you'd be reading. Your mother made me turn out my light. Now, what is it? I need some help, but I'll ask you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I was just lying there thinking about how she made me turn out my light. I just can't get my checkbook to balance, and it's driving me crazy. What's going on? Nothing. Miriam can't balance her checkbook. Why on earth would you ever do that in the middle of the night? I live in a Dr. Seuss book. I'm sorry I got you up. Back to bed, you two. Night-night. I can't sleep when your father's just lying there thinking about how I made him turn out the light. Then let me turn on my light. You are doing something that you love. Yeah. The both of us pursuing our art. Although one of us pursuing banking would have been smart. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can handle all this? To art. Hi there, Susie Meyerson talent manager, just dropping by to say hello to Mike Carr, following up on our lunch from a couple weeks ago. You on the list? Sure. Who do I see about the list? Me. Your name's Susie Madison? Actually, it's a uh, Carol Jacobson. Yep, there I am. So you were Gordon's stepmother? Yep. Love him like my own. Keep walking. Ethan, wish your son a happy birthday. It's not. Ethan! Mommy, I got a fire truck, cowboy guns, and a baseball. We're gonna ride the Wonder Wheel. Honey, all of that is exciting, but today is just not your actual happy birthday, baby. Women, huh? You can't live with them, you can't, well that pretty much sums it up. You can't live with them. Huh? My wife, oh, brother. She saw a psychic and told her that in a past life she was Mary Queen of Scots. I said, well, hope you had a good time, honey, because in this life, you're Mary Clean My Socks. <laughs> the wife is, she says she wants a job. Can you believe that? I says to her, sweetie, you got two jobs already that you never show up for. Hand and blow. Every girl you see working tonight, shaking their money makers, has a father. That's right. Me too, I have a father. Goes by Abraham. He thought I'd grow up to be the perfect lady. And here I am, slinging jokes in a strip club to a bunch of drunk men with various degrees of syphilis. So, happy Father's Day! She's fluent in French, Spanish, and Italian and Yiddish. I have no proof about the last one, but I still believe it's true. <laughs> do we really want a first lady who looks like this on a horse? Or do we want a first lady who looks a little more like the horse? <laughs> an attractive horse. I'm talking buttermilk, not drink. <laughs> women are dealing with a lot. Do we really need to be constantly comparing ourselves? So come on. You love her. You're going to marry her. Have a family. Another grandchild. That's a mitzvah. That we celebrate. Thank you, Pop. However, she has to be Jewish by the time you tell your mother. What? It's easy. She meets a rabbi, reads a book, takes a bath. Pop. I'm getting very weak, Joel. I will be laughing through the entire thing. I promise. There's a saying old says that love is blind Still we're often told seek and ye shall find So I'm going to seek a certain lad I've had in mind You've been a great audience. Please get home safe. Don't forget to tip the waitresses. They're armed. I'm Mrs. Maisel. Thank you and good night.